this is Marguerite Palmer at Newberry Art Center and I'm here to talk about something you can do at home with materials you may have around the house. So today we have gathered up some coffee filters. We have a little stack of them here. We have some water soluble markers, so just some Crayola markers. We also have some food coloring. You might have some watercolor paints. There's all kinds of things you may have around your house. We've also got pipe cleaners. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you might want to use yarn. But let me get you started on what you can do. So take your coffee filters, get your markers, and go ahead and start coloring some designs on those coffee filters. Now make sure you're doing this on another piece of paper so you're not coloring your furniture. So obviously this is something for kids to do, but uh, I know a couple of grown-ups that have had a good time doing it today too. So color any kind of design you want to until you have colored the whole coffee filter and or you can take some food coloring and you can drop it in little dots on the coffee filter with different colors. And watch what happens when the colors blend together. You can take green, blue, add some yellow, and watch all the colors change. It'd be better if this coffee filter were flat, but it's not. Then, after you get your filter completely colored, you can take some water and spray water on it and watch all those colors bleed together. Now, we have some pictures we're gonna post of some of these already made and what you can do with them. So let me show you a couple of things we made with them. For one thing, if you look at this one, when you pull it up off the paper, it leaves a design on the paper. In fact, you could even take two coffee filters and stack them together, color them with marker, spray the water on it, and watch those colors bleed into the other coffee filters. When we removed them, we found that we had some really cool designs on the paper. So in a little bit, I'm going to cut this design out of the paper. And this was just made from having this coffee filter on the piece of paper. So let me show you some of the coffee filters that we've done here today. We've got this one. This was done with food coloring. This was done with food coloring. We had to take them outside and let them dry or hold them for a while to dry. This one was done with markers. Isn't that beautiful? This one was done with markers. Now, after you get it made and it dries, you can do something cool like this, like a butterfly. You could put the butterfly on a clothespin and use it to put somewhere, hold it onto your refrigerator with a magnet. This one was also done with markers, and all you have to do is either gather it up in the middle to make the wings of the butterfly, or you can take that and gather it right in the middle like this, pull it together to make a flower. And you can make a corsage or a hair decoration. So what I want to see is you do something with coffee filters, markers, watercolor, uh, food coloring. You come up with some things and send us some pictures of what you've done at Newberry Arts Center. And you can send it by email at arts at cityofnewberry.com. Thank you.